Howdy, I wanted to make a video and I wanted to specifically bring up the last part of an article that I had went through last night on the news show. I think it's highly important that we uh, get this data point from this particular article even though it wasn't the focus of the article. So, uh, the the article I was talking about is what I covered first on the show last night. It was uh, an article titled, China Develops Hypersonic Smart Shells, uh, says the media. So, uh, on that article, and I've got it right here, let me bring it up. On that article, it goes through and it talks about their new smart shell missile system. And, uh, and the warhead that they could put on it and whatnot, and that it was essentially an upgraded version of a U.S. military program that was abandoned. However, the most important part, in my opinion, of the entire article was at the very end of the article in which it started talking about electromagnetic weapons. So, we're going to start with the last three paragraphs here. During launch, though, the shells generate a significant, and these are the smart shells, a significant electromagnetic field, which can be, uh, or which can subsequently damage electronic components such as microchips or antenna, uh, potentially destroying its own satellite navigation system. Hey, the Chinese scientists say they bypass the problem by developing an antenna that can withstand electromagnetic signals while also maintaining precise satellite navigation. Now the very last paragraph is the humdinger here. Beijing's Navy has recently said that it has made a series of breakthroughs in weapons development, particularly in the field of electromagnetic weapons, the SCMP said, adding that War game simulations of new military hardware challenges the traditional advantages held by Western nations. So I would urge you to pay very close attention to what's going on as far as U.S. and China relations and understand that somehow going after our grid would be the main target of another nation because there's a difference in dropping bombs on a bunch of people and shutting off their power so it uh it might end up with the same results but it don't have that same shock and awe factor when it happens so anyway just Keep an eye on stuff. It means the same thing for, for you and I. Just keep getting ready the best that you can. And hope that it's for naught. So anyway, I hope you have a good day. Shalom.